travelers this is simon with micah here and in this episode we are in las vegas we are heading up to the summerlin area to visit the rampart casino and the buffet there called the marketplace buffet yeah simon i am actually very excited to come try this buffet out i we've both actually never been to summerlin summerlin or this part of town in Las Vegas, so I was actually really excited to come here. And a little bit of information about this buffet uh, marketplace. We came here for lunch, and at the time of recording, they were only open Monday, Thursdays, and Fridays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the price for this buffet is $20.99 $20 per adult. Yeah, and as you might have noticed at the beginning, we had a kind of entrance shot of the uh, buffet itself, and we couldn't get really outside shot because it was quite an eventful dining experience we had at this time. Um, it's kind of a first for us in terms of uh, actually Micah was filming, and somebody actually came up and told him to stop filming, um, and the way he kind of said it was kind of not in the nicest way, you know, of course we're always compliant and we'll, we'll, we'll do anything, but the way he, I guess, approached it would have been a lot nicer, just the way he worded things. But this was kind of a first for us in Las Vegas where somebody has told us to stop filming. So we did get a good amount of footage, which was odd because we, we filmed quite a bit before they actually then suddenly told us to stop and we we're not sure if we did anything wrong or anything like that, but um, it was definitely eventful. So there are shots and at the end of the video, you actually see where the, the moment where the uh, guy told Micah to stop the filming, um, but we ended up having a good amount of footage. Yeah, it was definitely a different experience, uh, something I hope to never try again, or I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, with this type of stuff and, and being in uh, Las Vegas and everything always changing the rules and policies, uh, I'm sure it may happen again, but I, I would really hope not. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope not too. And I know as it happened and we were sitting down discussing um, and kind of focusing on the buffet for just a quick bit, like one of the things I really liked was the price. The price was really amazing for kind of the uh, freshness of the ingredients and the food that we were getting and, and the variety. It's not an uh, overly huge buffet, but there were about five or six set, uh, stations and they had pretty good decent selection in terms of at least this uh, early morning uh, buffet. Um, but yeah, just when we were discussing after it happened and, and Mike and I were sitting down at the table and the, the guy who told him to stop was quoting all these uh, like rules and regulations within Nevada about filming, um, which was kind of odd and you know, he wasn't really too polite in, in the way he said it. And one of the things that, um, you know, it would have been nice if he just said, hey, we prefer you guys not film, can you stop? And then, of course, we would have been compliant and said, yeah, we're, we're, we're fine, we'll stop and, and cut the uh, footage and just, you know, go on with our dining. But he kind of had all these kind of really odd threats about breaking the law, doing this and doing that. And then, you know, of course, we stopped filming. But but this was after we, we got so much footage already that, that it was just odd that he had that request after pretty much everything was kind of filmed. Yeah, it was definitely a different experience and uh, his approach was definitely not the friendly as Simon was saying and I, I did also want to mention um, this buffet size itself, like the seating area is huge. Like I think they can sit a whole bunch of people and uh, and I think I remember um, when we were first set it down, Simon you also did mention this, this is one of the first time you've seen a buffet with the outdoor seating. Um, that to me is definitely new too. Yeah, when we, when we were sat down at our seats and I kind of looked outside and I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting because uh, generally most buffets, there's no windows. So you're not looking out to anywhere, at least uh, Vegas casino type buffets. Uh, if you go out into the um, kind of a non-major strip casino buffets, you know, um, or mom and pop shops, you'll get those window seats. But um, in this case, there was a window and you'll see that later in the video uh, 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 when we kind of show where our seating was. And there's actually seats that were outside the window as well, so I was pretty surprised when I saw that. And I thought that was quite interesting. Um, but you know, overall, I kind of have a mixed feeling about this because I really did enjoy the food, and especially like I mentioned earlier with the price, that was seemed like a really good value for what you were getting. But then, of course, um, with what happened and just. It, it just felt really odd to me because when we were there, the servers, even the people who were serving the food and behind the, the, the cooks that were behind the counters, they were all super nice. 
and they were really happy to kind of uh, interact with everybody and, and get filming and everything and then it just happened to be just this one person who came in and said you know don't do it and it kind of ruined the rest of the rest of the time that we were there and I know at least for me how I felt I kind of a uh, was ready to kind of eat quickly and then just jump ship and get out and head back to the uh, hotel after after this experience yeah I, I was actually having a really good time everybody was really really friendly I remember going up to different stations and while while I was filming uh, when the server was like hey it's not clean yet let me like sort everything out put it together let me make it pretty for you and and then everybody was just like overall like really friendly it's just that one person that one staff that ruined the whole experience I remember after that I kind you were kind of like mentioning to me that like, you're like oh I can see it in your face you're not really enjoying it and even the server who was surfing us kept coming over and said hey is everything okay <laughs> do you need anything is everything okay like I guess like the whole and then I remember even like the mood going back uh, taking the uber ride and the guy's like hey did somebody die <laughs> Yeah, it was it was definitely that that kind of light switch just turned and everything went dark and the mood just completely changed. But yeah, our server for our table, she actually came by. She's super sweet and she was great. Um, the service was was awesome. We got the uh, the uh, uh, beef roast and um, I was cutting through the beef roast and we didn't have uh, steak knives at the time and she she definitely was paying attention and she actually saw that that I was having trouble cutting and so she ran and grabbed a steak knife both for myself and Micah and brought it over to us but throughout the whole time dining and I'm not sure if she actually saw what happened but um, throughout the whole time dining she kept coming over and asking us are you okay do you need anything are you okay do you need anything and she said that at least I think more than a dozen times and so um, she was she was spectacular she was awesome and then like you mentioned earlier when we were heading back to the uh, the hotel yeah, it's that mood in the Uber driver. It just oozed out. I think mostly from you, because uh, you were the one who actually felt that experience uh, directly. But yeah, he did ask us, you know, did somebody die? Was there, or, well, actually, he asked the, the first thing he said was, uh, did we lose a whole bunch of money? So he thought we were gambling and we just got just really uh, killed on the tables or something. And, and then he, he asked if we lost a lot of money because he said the mood that, that we brought into the, uh, into the car was just just way way down there yeah like overall like the experience was it was fair like I, i'm over it now for sure i mean at the time i was just like we were both like i guess heated and we were just like not happy like the whole experience it just like killed the mood but like like starting off there like the food itself is it's not bad it's really good for what you get I mean if you're in Vegas and you're really looking for like good quality like food and you're looking for like a bunch of variety stuff definitely visit this one like especially like the dessert section I really enjoyed that one I thought the dessert section was really really good I mean it's not here in the video just yet but you'll see it soon enough but the whole uh, area even the people dining there they're really really friendly I remember I was filming and I saw this dessert item is something called like magic bar or something and he was joking about how it's like there's stuff inside that makes it magical <laughs> he was talking about how he's gonna have to come back and grab a couple more <laughs> i thought that was pretty cool. yeah and you can kind of see here i was grabbing some of the beef roast and i actually enjoyed it um, i prefer uh, medium rare for my roasts and um i actually had seconds on it so i had two plates but um um, definitely the medium rare portions that were medium rare that I got were really good. There were some sections where it was a little bit drier um, and so we had some kind of dry meat and and that part I, I didn't really eat them I kind of just cut and left it but overall the majority of it was actually pretty spot on. Uh, one of the things that kind of did stick out in terms of the food was the um, was the clam chowder soup. That was something where uh, I guess I don't know if I am or not but I'm kind of particular with it because we, we do have our, our clam chowder over in the northwest which is a certain way um, at least the way that I grew up knowing about clam chowder and, and enjoying it and for us we have a, a, a place here called Ivers and that's one of my favorite places to go eat clam chowder and we actually have an episode where we did visit there so if you want to see that we'll put that in the link in the description box below but um, I actually did a comparison just kind of show because um, one of the things about uh, clam chowder is is kind of the base in which you use 
um, you know, you, there's there's ones where it's more of a, a flour roux based, and then another one where you have more of the cream based. And I am much more of a cream based uh, clam chowder person. And so, one of the things I really wanted to point out was just kind of the different coloration for for the clam chowder. And in the video coming up, you'll actually see uh, the side by side comparisons where the kind of flour based roux is uh, a little lighter, as you can see. Um, it's not as bright white like it is on the cream based and so you just kind of see the difference in texture and kind of the composition of it and so when I kind of ate it I, I just took a few bites and I, I didn't really enjoy it yeah so there's uh, other items I did want to uh, mention is uh, the sweet potato fries those were pretty good um, I also want, want to say like the the guy who was cutting the, the roast beef they were really accommodating like I remember I was asking for a piece that was a little bit more uh, medium rare and he cut a pretty large piece and I asked him oh can you get me a little bit smaller sl uh, slice and the guy next to me said oh I'll just take the other slice and then but then he also requested uh, for the roast beef to be cooked a little bit longer so he preferred it uh, more medium or more well done and they actually put it down on for him and said just come back in a couple minutes and it'll be ready for you yeah, and, and now we're here over at the uh, dessert section, and they had a pretty substantial dessert section compared to some other uh, casino buffets that we've been to. And I, I did enjoy this one as well. I did have some of the uh, um, gelato. I usually like to try the gelato because it's generally lighter. Um, you know, we keep always discussing, Micah, about, about going to the buffet and eating desserts first and just like... <laughs> hitting up all the displays so we could try everything but then we kind of don't end up to because you know usually when we're there we're, we're, we're trying to just build our hunger so we can eat a good amount and so we're usually generally really hungry and so we go for the regular food and then you know you eat and you eat and then you kind of realize oh, okay i don't have that much space left um, but gelato is light enough where i generally have it uh, most of the time um, but they did have a good variety there and the gelato it was decent uh, i don't think it was the, the best but it was, definitely wasn't the worst it was enjoyable and i didn't enjoy what i had yeah they definitely have a lot of choices a lot of different flavors so uh, i also had the butter pecan and i think the pistachio and i enjoyed both of them um i also like seeing that they have these sugar-free options especially for people who can't have too much sugar it's always good to see a buffet offering this type of stuff um, yeah and here in the video you see that that's coming up where I was starting to film the fried chicken and all the meat section and then they asked me to stop and to wrap up our video here are our notables unfortunately for this one there are none if you've enjoyed the content you've seen don't forget to support the channel and hit like and subscribe and if you want to see additional pictures of food and our travels, go over to our Instagram page and follow us there. And thanks for watching.